everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually doing a watercolour illustration here as part of my Australian Animal series. Now a few months ago I actually started this series off with a koala painting and what I did was I stated a whole bunch of interesting facts about koalas. So now I'm going to do the second instalment of this series with platypuses. So without further ado, here are some interesting facts of platypuses while I paint a lovely little platypus here. The platypus is one of the most unusual creatures in the animal kingdom. Platypuses, which is the correct plural form, not platypi, have paddle shaped tail like a beaver, a sleek furry bo body like an otter and a flat bill with webbed feet like a duck. In fact, the first time a platypus was brought from Australia to Britain, people didn't believe that it was a real animal. They actually thought that someone had tricked them by sewing two animals together. Platypuses are actually among the few venomous mammals. They are very cute, but apparently they have venom. Males have a spur on the back of their hind feet that is connected to a venom secreting gland. More venom is secreted during mating season, leading researchers to think that the spurs um, actually help males compete for mates. According to the Australian Platypus Conservatory, the venom is not life-threatening to humans, but it can cause severe swelling and excruciating pain. A typical platypus is 15 inches, that is 38 centimeters from its head to the end of its rump. The tail adds an additional 5 inches, which is 13 centimeters. An individual weighs around 3 pounds, which is 1.4 kilos. Though platypuses that live in colder climates are actually bigger. Scientists have found fossils that suggest ancient platypuses were twice as large as the modern variety, at about 3.3 feet, which is a meter long. Platypuses have dense, thick fur that help them stay warm underwater. Most of the fur is dark brown except for lighter patches around the eyes and also on the underside of the platypus. Their front feet have extra skin that acts as a paddle when the animals are swimming. When platypuses are on land, their webbing retracts making claws more pronounced. The animals will walk awkwardly on their knuckles to protect that webbing. The bill of a platypus is sometimes called a duck bill. Uh, it has a smooth texture that feels kind of like suede. It is also flexible and rubbery. The skin of the bill holds thousands of receptors that actually help them navigate underwater and detect movement of p potential food such as shrimp. Platypuses live in only one small area of the world. These creatures make their home in the fresh water areas that flow throughout the island of Tasmania and also the eastern and southeastern coast of Australia. While they are in the water a lot, they will also waddle onto the riverbanks to dig burrows with their claws. These burrows are tunnels that have rooms or chambers Platypus also live under rock ledges, roots or debris. Though they exist on only one side of one continent, platypuses actually weather many different types of climates. They have been found in lowlands, tropical rainforests and the cold mountains of Tasmania and the Australian Alps. Their waterproof, thick fur keeps platypuses warm in chilly temperatures and their big tails also store a lot of fat for energy. 
Platypuses usually spend their time hunting for food, and a hunt can actually last from 10 to 12 hours. They are most active during nighttime and dusk because they're nocturnal. This means that they sleep during the day when not hunting. They stay in their burrows. Platypuses are actually carnivorous, which means that they eat meat. They hunt for their food in the water where they live. As they swim, they try to detect food along the muddy bottom of the river stream, pond or lake using their sensitive bills. When platypuses find something interesting like shellfish, insects, larvae or worms, they scoop it up in their bills and store it in their cheek patches and swim to the surface. Since they only have grinding plates and no teeth, platypuses use any gravel or dirt that they scooped up while on the bottom of the waterbed to mash their food into digestible pieces. Now, most mammals give birth to live young. Platypuses, however, lay eggs. They are a species of primitive mammals called monotremes. The only other monotremes in the world are actually echidnas, so they're very unique. When female platypus is ready to have her young, she will burrow down inside the ground on the riverbank and seal herself into one of her tunnel rooms. Then she will lay one or two eggs and place them between her rump and her tail to keep them warm. After about 10 days, the eggs hatch and the little bean-sized babies will nurse three to four months. Around time of weaning, the baby platypuses can swim on their own. Platypuses swim with their front feet and steer with their tails and back feet. They have waterproof fur, skin that covers their ears, eyes and noses that seal shut to protect the animals while they are underwater. Though platypuses are made for the water, they can't stay completely submerged. They can only stay underwater for about 30 to 140 seconds. Although platypuses are born out of eggs, the babies actually nurse like mammals from their mother. Female platypuses, however, don't actually have nipples. Instead, the milk oozes out of the mammary gland ducts on their abdomen and babies drink it by suckling it out of the mother's fur. And finally, another surprising fact about platypuses is that they actually don't have a stomach. They have a gullet which actually connects directly to their intestines. And they actually share this uh, with echidnas and also a quarter of all fish. Not only did they lose the physical feature of a stomach, but they also lost the genes required to produce one, meaning that they're ever unlikely to get one back. So there you go, guys. That's pretty much all of what I wanted to say about them. They are such an interesting species. I think they're absolutely adorable and I had a lot of fun painting this little guy here. I had a lot of fun using the masking fluid to make like a sort of ripply, uh, swirly pattern of water around the platypus. And fun fact, that was actually inspired by the Australian 20 cent coin which has a platypus in a similar, similar way. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you're interested in prints, I will actually have this up on my Redbubble store because I don't know, I just, it's a simple painting, but I really, really like it. So yeah. So again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and make sure you hit like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.